Ah, what's up? Welcome to the social sig vlog number nine. And uh, some people walking outside and a car just started and it was really loud. So I will disclaim that I am very hungover right now and uh, it is Easter 2022 and it's been a, a good day. It's been sunny, it's a little chilly. But uh, I had a good night last night. Uh, actually, the last two nights have been pretty fun. Um, Friday, I had a half day at work, so I got some lunch with some coworkers, met some friends on Brady Street. I tried Easy Tiger Ramen with my friend Waldo, and that was delicious. Um, and then last night, I saw Moon Glow at High Dive in River West. My first time there, it's this little dive bar. Um, and it was a good time. They played a really solid set. They sounded really good. I took a video of most of the performance, so uh, hopefully they uh, edit that together and get something going. It is a little shaky, so I guess we'll see. But Moon Glow, definitely check them out. One of my favorite bands in Milwaukee for sure. Um, and then today I got, um, well, after last night, I went to Bremen Cafe, and then my buddy Willie came over, and I was up to like 4.30, and then I got brunch this morning with my parents and my little brother at Buckley, the Buckley, where my buddy Denzel works, who he is the... Uh, guitarist in a band called Scam Likely, which I've talked about them before. We did a house show with them last weekend, and he came out, and it was uh, it was really funny. He made my eggs this morning, and uh, always good seeing Denzel. So <laughs> um, I gave him a warning that I was very brutally hungover this morning. So um, yeah, but I was gonna take a nap, but I didn't. So uh, it feels kind of good to 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 press through the press through to push through the hangover and not waste a day because it's one of my only off days today so um i got a lot done feeling pretty good especially we have uh we've, we have a break here from live shows for a good amount until the 29th of april so um feels good to kind of reset and recalibrate um and uh the next show on the 29th would be our first show in Madison, which is uh, on the Union Terrace uh, opening for prep. And uh, I just got the Facebook invite, so it's 100% confirmed, supposedly. No, it is. But uh, that's going to be a really, really fun show, trying to get as many people to go to Madison as poss <clears throat> possible. And uh, yeah, um, got that. And then also a show at Lindman's coming up with... Lunar Moth, Diet Light, and North Warren, and I played shows with all of them before, and I'm excited for us all to come together, and uh, it's going to be a great time. Um, Linneman's is a really fun venue, too. They got, like, a really cool downstairs green room, so we're all going to be kicking it, and, um, yeah, excited for that. Uh, just been writing a lot lately, too, which has been nice. Um, working on a new song called Bum Socks. And like B U M socks, like the socks of bums, and uh, I'm really excited about how it's gonna turn out. Um, still rearranging and writing this next album, but I'm really uh, confident now that I've gotten some more songs worked on this last week. Uh, I've been trying to be more productive with it, and uh, so know before I would talk about being a little stressed about the August twentieth release date for this album. But uh, I'm looking pretty good right now, and uh, I've been in a good headspace or creative space this last few days, so um, that always feels really awesome, because it comes in waves, for sure, as any artist might relate. Uh, and I was talking with my friend, my homie Willie, last night, and um, you gotta live a little bit, especially as a, an artist. You gotta find the balance of living your life uh, day to day and finding, um, just, uh, well, just living life and then, uh, finding those little creative nerves that hit, uh, from time to time, because if you're always creating, you will, I don't know if you'll have a lot of stuff to write about, unless you're like really old and you have a lot of stories and stuff, you could probably do that then, but, uh, just being young, you gotta experience a lot of shit, so, trying, <laughs> And, uh, what else is new? 
I uh, finalized the song called Hot Red, so really excited about that one. I just was talking on the phone with someone from Milwaukee Magazine who's doing a little summer uh, write-up on some releases, so uh, really excited to have that in like a magazine, uh, a little write-up on that song. So it's going to release, hopefully, I'm thinking end of May slash early June. I just got to finish up another song called From Afar. And I want to release both of those together as a little prequel to the August uh, album. And I'm thinking about buzzing my head again, or maybe keeping the same length. I don't know, we'll see. But I want to bleach my hair. The next album is called Cheesehead. I think it'd be kind of a cool idea to bleach my hair as like yellow look. And it would be kind of fit the idea of cheese hat in an ironic way. But we'll see. Um, definitely want to kind of get that done soon just for a cool album cover art. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. I got stickers. I don't know if I showed these on camera yet, but they got the QR code. I always say too, like, if I'm spending money on these stickers and I'm not really selling them, um, it just makes sense to have the QR code for Spotify like right on there because it kind of makes the price of it worth it. Um, I feel like I've, I've seen it once before, but a lot of like other musicians or artists, I, it's a free code you can generate. So um, definitely like, use that to your advantage if you're a musician because I think that it's a, a helpful thing to have because if I see a QR Spotify code on a random thing, I definitely would scan it. That's just me. Um, so it can't hurt and it looks cool. It's not like an ugly QR code. All right. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk, talk about. Um, hopefully this next week is good. Um, I, uh, have a good feeling about it and, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. So love y'all. Thanks for sticking with me and, uh, see you soon. Bye.